We needs no intro. I jumps right into it. I already told y'all. I said I already told y'all. I told y'all what was finna happen. Go watch the other video. I told y'all. That video that they was gonna try to present to us was gonna be a fuck a fake ass video. They sitting back. I said they sitting back laughing. They fuck her ass off. Watching us figure this fake ass fuck a video out. Laughing. Can she prophesy? I said, can she prophesy tonight? When we was figuring out the other videos and when they was out there protesting in Chicago, guess what? Them slick ass fuckers was in the background working on the fucking camera footage. Working on the fucking camera footage. Don't be deceived. I said, don't be fucking deceived. They needed a little time. They was happy we was out there protesting. They was happy we was out there searching the internet so they can be in the background working on some bullshit. Working on some bullshit trying to present it to us. I already know the motherfucker game. I said, I already know the fucking game that the police and the motherfuckers try to play. Okay? So I'm going to go in the motherfucking spiritual realm and I'm going to play a little bit too. I said, I'm going to play the game with they asses too. You must understand. Some of us, we've been aware of what's been going on out this fucker. We've been aware. Okay? We've been aware of what's been going on with this fake ass government. This fake ass fucker police. But what's happening now? What's happening now? What's happening now is the niggas who was asleep is starting to wake up the fucker up. Okay? They starting to see the games that the pow that these powder face fuckers is playing with us. They used to be sleep. But some people putting two and two together and guess what? They starting to wake up the fucker up. Kanye West told us about they fake ass fucker news. I said Kanye West already told us about they fake ass fucker news. Now, some folks is putting two and two together. They noticing. I said, they noticing. They noticing the ones who, who make the rules that we got to abide by. They noticing. Guess, guess what? These motherfuckers is corrupt. Corrupt as a motherfucker. Somebody look at your neighbor or look at yourself and say, I ain't going to be sleep no fucker mo. I don't know about you, but I ain't going to be sleep no motherfucking mo. Huh? I said, I'm bringing it to fuck a night. I said, I'm bringing it to fuck a night. We watch these movies to be entertained. That's okay. But we need to start watching these motherfucking movies with your eyes wide fucking open. They telling us what they gonna fucking do. Okay? Or what they already motherfucking did. Or what they been doing. Okay? In these motherfucking movies. These talk shows and shit. Watch the movie. I'm going to put a movie out there. Y'all go check this shit out. Wag the fucker dog. It ain't called the fucker dog, but it's called Wag the dog. Okay? Wag the dog. In this movie, they create an artificial war. Okay? And they put this shit on the news. And they make motherfuckers believe that it's really a motherfucking war going on. They bring in these fake ass motherfucking actors and shit and they tell them what to do, what to say, all that shit. And we be crying and shit off some fake ass fucking news thinking this shit is real. Huh, you better wake the fuck up. You better wake up. You better wake the fuck up. And these dumb motherfuckers, oh, they just conspiracy this. Oh, they conspiracy theories. No, bitch. I ain't just, I ain't no fucking conspiracy theories, motherfucker. I just ain't gonna be dumb on these fucker streets. Hello, somebody. I said I ain't gonna be deceived on these fucker streets. Did she prophesy tonight? I ain't gonna tarry too long, but I gotta get it to you. Can she prophesy the fucker night? You ever fought for something so hard until you can fight no motherfucking mo? You just give the fucker up. I want y'all to know. Kanika fought for her life. I'm telling y'all some truth today. She fought for her life. When they was raping her. That's why when they was raping her. She fought for her life. That's why this story touched so many people. And you don't even know why your heart felt the way it was feeling. Okay. 
You don't know why you felt like you just wanted to keep fighting until you seen some motherfucking justice happen. That's because, guess what? She was fighting for her life. And we is feeling that shit in the motherfucking physical realm. That's why you gonna fight until fuckers start singing like a motherfucking birdie. That's why I'm gonna motherfucking fight until a bitch start telling it all. Okay? That's why you gonna fight until you see some motherfucking shit happen. Motherfuckers just start dropping down out of no motherfucking wear like flies. The same motherfuckers who had something to do with her murder. Check it out. That's why we fighting. That's why we felt the way we felt. Because she fought for her motherfucking life. She is the goddess energy. Honey, Kanika is the goddess Yimiya energy. That's another video. Okay? She prophesied. When some folks pass on. Okay? And when some folks die instantly, guess what? It happens so fast. And it happens so quick, they don't have time to really think. I said they don't got time to really think because their death happens so fast. At a certain point, Kanika, she knew it was over for her. She knew they was murdering her. I said I'm motherfucking prophesying tonight. She knew she was going to die. Okay? She knew that. She had a little time to think. Her last thoughts was about her mama, her sister, and guess what? Her sister's kids. She are she is very close with them. I'm trying to prophesy tonight. I ain't trying. God damn it, I'm prophesying in this bitch to fuck a night. The last thoughts was about her family. The mistake that she made for going out to that party. I'm trying to tell y'all something. Honey, Kanika mama is grieving right now. She is really grieving right now. And Kanika know it. Kanika's spirit is around her mother right now. As we speak, I said a motherfucking prophesying tonight. Her mama is feeling this shit. Some people grieve in their own way. But I'm trying to tell you, her mother is grieving. And Kanika, is, her spirit is all around her mama at this time. I'm trying to tell y'all that she ain't have nothing to do with this bullshit. Clarify that shit and make it plain. Okay? Let's do that. Let's do it. And I want y'all to know something. Kanika, she want her mama to know that guess what? She hears her mother talking to her. She hears her mother speaking to her. She want her mother to continue to talk to her and not stop talking to her. She want to hear her mother's voice. That gives her some type of, of comfort. Okay? I'm prophesying tonight. Now, for me, I'm done with all the motherfucking talking. I ain't dumb about the police. I see what the fuck they doing. I know what the fuck's going on. I'm done talking. I'm done talking. I had to make this video here to show y'all how to, you know, give us some energy with the altar. But after this, I'm done talking because I'm going into the spiritual realm and I'm going to tear some motherfucking shit the fucker down. Who the fuck with me? Hello, somebody. I said, now for me, I'm done talking. It's time to give her some motherfucking proper energy. So she can reveal some things to us. We need some motherfucking revealings. She gonna reveal some things to us. But she needs that ashe. She needs that energy. This ain't got shit to do with no voodoo and shit. No voodoo type shit. So get that out your head. Forget what they taught you. Forget what they taught you was bad. Okay, they don't want you to know this is how we get in touch with our ancestors and our friends and family that has passed on before us. This is how we get in touch with them. You don't go. Okay, you don't got to you don't listen to this. You ain't got to be family or nothing with a spirit with Kanika to give her some energy. Okay, you don't, you don't got to be family with her. I'm teaching you something that you need to go do. In this case, when we when we uh when we do what, what I'm gonna show you to do, we are giving Kanika some energy to bring some answers to the motherfucker light. That's what we doing. When I show y'all this, this is what we're gonna do. We 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 gonna build this altar to give her strength, give her some energy, give her some light. Think about it. If they don't treat us right, what the fuck will make you think they gonna teach? us right 
You think they going to teach us about a God that's going to save us? Hell no. These your slave masters. What I'm going to motherfucking teach you tonight is that real motherfucking power. Okay? That power that they don't want you to fucking know. That power that them police and them motherfuckers is really scared of. Because when we fight in the spiritual realm with our ancestors, the one who passed on before us, Kanika Jenkins. You go, okay, let me, can I break it down? That's how we get that energy. That's when a motherfucker start really getting scared. Oh, shit. Huh. I said I'm going somewhere with this tonight. I burned a couple of tea candles to just give her a little energy. Okay. And for her to reveal some things to me. And to make them, okay, these powder face fuckers slip up in some type of way. That's why I had burnt my tea candles a couple of days ago. But tonight at 12 o'clock a.m., I'm going to make a bigger altar for her. And I'm going to place things on that altar to give her more energy. Okay, so she can handle things on this physical realm that we are bad on. Now, I want you to understand. The things that I tell you to put on this altar far as food and drink, you, you guess what? You're not going to see her physically come down and eat this. This is the energy that we is giving up to Kanika. Okay, get that through your head. I want you to understand that you're not going to see her come down and eat nothing. This is the energy that we are. We giving up to her. She is getting that food and drink. That's the energy. It's like food and drink to get things moving. Okay? In the spiritual realm. So we can see results on the physical realm. Now to make an altar, we got to jump right into it. Now to make an altar for Kanika, I want you to clean real good. You got to clean it real good. Any wooded area that you might have. Or if you have a wooden table, this is good. Any wooden tabletop or any tabletop, something like that, so you can set things on. That is what you will need. After you cleanse that tabletop real good or that altar, that wooden altar real good, I want you to cover it with a purple altar cloth. Now I want you to cover it with a purple altar cloth. And if you ain't got a purple altar cloth, just use the tabletop. Okay, just use the tabletop. You ain't got to cover it. But if you can get a, get your hands on a purple altar cloth, a purple cloth to cover that table, then you can get that. Okay, I want y'all to get a picture of Kanika. Get a picture of Kanika off the Internet. You can print you can uh, print it off the Internet. Get you a picture off the Internet of Kanika. Print it off the Internet. After you print the picture, after you print that picture out. I want you to put it in a picture frame. You can go to the dollar store and get you a picture frame. Everything that I'm telling you to get, you can get at any dollar store. Okay? So get you a picture frame so you can put her picture inside of that picture frame. Listen up real close. Then what I want you to do is, when you go to the dollar store, get a small glass plate. A small glass plate. And then you want to get a small or, or whatever size glass cup, a glass cup, or a glass, you know, a glass cup to drink out of. And then I want you to also get some fruit, get some cans of fruit, or just get some fruit that you can buy at any grocery store. Get some peaches, I'm telling you what to get. Get either some peaches, pineapples, and strawberries. You can get either peaches, pineapples, and strawberries, or you can get all three, okay? Peaches, pineapples, and strawberries, or you can get all three. This is the sum of the foods that she likes. This is what she likes. I'm telling you how how to you know how to reach her and give her that energy. Then what I want you to do is I want you to get a statue of a unicorn. Get you a statue of a unicorn. If you can't find a statue of a unicorn, then print a unicorn off of the internet. Print it off the a unicorn off the internet and then I want you to put it in a picture frame put that in a picture frame put it in a picture frame as well just like you gonna put her picture in a picture frame okay now this is what I want you to do I want you to take the picture of Kanika okay 
take the picture of Kanika that you put in that picture frame and put the picture in the middle of that altar. The middle of that tabletop or the middle of that wooden altar. Okay? Put it in the middle. Then I want you to place the glass plate. Place the glass plate on the right side of the picture of Kanika. Put it on the right side. And then on that plate, I want you to put those some of the fruit on there. Put some of the fruit onto that plate on the right side. Now I want you to take the glass cup. The glass cup. And fill it all the way up with some water. Put some water in there. Put some water from the sink in there. Okay? You can put some ice cubes if you like in there as well. Put some water in there. And then I want you to place that on the left side. Of the picture of Kanika's picture that I told you to put in the middle okay then I want you to also get a seven day white candle you can get this from the dollar store it's a seven day candle one of them tall looking candles you get it from the dollar store a seven day candle and make sure it is white and I want you to put that candle in the front of her picture okay in the front of her picture the front of the picture of Kanika then now what I also want you to do is I want you to place that unicorn, either the picture of the unicorn in the frame, or if you can find a statue of a unicorn, place it anywhere you would like, you know, on her altar, anywhere you want up there. Place that on there, too. Then I want you to call out to Janika. Call, I mean, excuse me. I want you to call out Kanika Jenkins name. Call out her name. Call out her name and talk to her. Tell her who you are. Tell her to shed some light on what happened to her. Okay? Tell her to let the truth be revealed. Talk to her from the bottom of your heart. She is there. I want y'all to know she will be in that room. You're going Her presence is there. Speak to her. Speak to her and tell her what's going on. Okay, don't 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 feel stupid. She said she's right there. I want y'all to know that. Talk to her. Tell her to show you some signs about her case. And I want y'all to know y'all start getting different signs. Different signs are gonna start to come out. Okay? Y'all gonna start to have different dreams. Different things gonna have to come out about her situation. The motherfuckers, they ain't gonna be able to hold back certain shit. Certain shit just gonna be seeping the fuck through. Can she motherfucking prophesy? I said, can she prophesy to fuck a night? These motherfuckers who had something to do with her murder gonna go start singing like fucking birdies. They ain't gonna be able to fucking sleep. These motherfuckers ain't gonna be able to eat. This shit is gonna haunt her. They motherfucking ass. You know why? Because I ain't coming to motherfucking play. And when I come, I motherfucker come. <laughs> Let me calm it down. Let me calm it down because I am feeling my motherfucker self tonight. And at 12 o'clock tonight, I'm really gonna be feeling this shit. I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a little detail with my altar. Okay, I'm gonna get a little detail with my altar for her, but I want y'all to go ahead and do what I just told y'all to do. She needs some fucker energy. She needs some energy. Okay? She needs some energy. I may keep my candle burning for about two weeks. Okay? But I want y'all to give her that energy up if y'all can. Give her that energy up. Cause this, you know, we can't keep going to the same motherfuckers who doing the shit to us. We can't keep doing that. That's like you going to the motherfucking enemy about a motherfucking problem that they done caused on your motherfucking ass or that they know about. Come on now. We got to learn how to go in the spiritual realm and work with our ancestors. Fuck up all that other dumb ass shit. Okay? Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Who with me? I said, who is with me? 12 o'clock midnight. I want, I want y'all to get y'all out to together now. Or get it together around 11 something. So you can be prepared to light that candle at 12 o'clock. I want everybody who going to do this with me. I already got, my, I already got people who going to do it with me already. But everybody who going to do it, I want y'all to be able to light that candle boom, at 12 o'clock on the dot. So we can be in sync in this motherfucker. Okay? That's what I want y'all to do. Alter for Kanika. That's how you burn the motherfucking candle the proper way. That's how you do it the proper way. Okay? So I want y'all to do this with me tonight. 12 o'clock tonight. Make sure y'all put that flame on the motherfucking candle. Because guess what? Judgment is fucking coming. Judgment is fucking coming. 
Oh my God, I, I seen, I seen a baby. I had a dream about that bitch, Monifa. I, I seen a, a, a baby. I don't know what it is. Something, a pregnancy, something going on. I'm going to leave it right there. I'm going to leave it right there. But I want y'all to go ahead and do this with me tonight. 12 o'clock tonight. Come on, let's give. Let's give that energy up to my baby, Kanika. Let's give that energy up. Fuck all that shit. We need to call on our energy, our ancestors, okay? Because she ain't going to rest her until this motherfucking shit is handled. So whoever, I said whoever with me, we about to start bringing shit to the motherfucking light. I said we finna start bringing shit to the motherfucking light by lighting up the motherfucking candlelight. Hello, somebody. Huh.